Hi guys, welcome to another class of Pilates with TZ. Today we're going to work with a ball. So a big ball, if you don't have a ball, you can use a towel for some of the things, but then rather do a class where there isn't a ball. So starting off just to warm up, you always want to make sure the ball is on the mat so that you don't feel it, I mean, so you don't slip. Coming onto from a push up position, modified push up, all the way down, you're going to lift your knees off the mat, rolling the ball in and out. So relaxing into the upper body, either resting your hands, your forehead on your hands, or you can take them next to you, whatever's comfortable. Shoulders relaxed. Pull the abs in, feet are hip width apart, inhale, exhale, roll it out, and in for one, two, three, inhale, exhale, four, this is just our warm up, five, and hopefully you should work a little bit into the lower back, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Pull the abs in to protect the back. Fourteen, fifteen. Bring the knees down. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Take it up and hold it. Pull the abs in. Relax the upper body. Hold it for one, two, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Really sit down. If you need to rest, rest. Otherwise, taking it up and rolling it side to side for one. Just a little movement. Two. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Keep the abs pulled in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Inhale, 12, 13, we're going to push back into your box shape after this, 14 just to open into the spine, 15, 16, 17, pull the abs in, 18, 19, 20, 21, coming back to center with the feet and under the shoulders, push back into your box shape, just tucking the chin in, rounding into the back and arch, round, arch, once more. Lift in the head, sink the butt down, and just walk it forward. We are going to have to stretch those arms to just interlace the hands behind the back, lifting the hands off the back, lift the upper body, hold it here, 
release it down, change into the unnatural interlace or latch of the fingers and lift the hands off the back, release it down. Now we're going to take, so we're working inner thumb, today is all about inner thumb. You want to try to get your feet onto the side of the ball, pull the abs in and you're going to squeeze the ball. If you need to, bringing your knees down won't work. So if you find it too much, just don't use the ball. Rest in your forehead on your stacked hands. Squeeze for one. Pull the abs in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, squeeze, exhale, 14, squeeze those inner thighs, 15, pull the abs in, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, squeeze and hold, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, release it down. So that should already release the stretch into those abs. When you're ready to, coming to that on your side. The ball is between the legs. Pull the tummy in. Squeeze for one, two, three. Four. I like to keep my feet flexed. Five. It seems to give me a nice grip on the ball. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21. Come in your back. Taking the feet up and squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep a straight line, flex the feet. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next one we're going to roll up onto the other side. 18, 19, 20, 21. So you're going to roll over to that side. But for me, I'm going to change sides. And squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, squeeze, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, exhale, 18, 19, 20, 21. Coming back onto your tummy, you're going to keep the feet are in line with the, well, they're on the ball feet with hip width apart. So I found that didn't work when you come onto the floor to inner thumb. So from here we're going to come into a bridge with your feet on the ball, squeezing the ball. So inhale and when you're ready to lift up, squeeze for one, two, three, four, Five. Pull those abs in like I'm punching in the lower belly. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Even if your toes are turned 
out, and you're a little bit higher, it's fine. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Squeeze and hold. Back, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Release it down. Push back into a modified towel. So somehow that's really getting into my inner thigh. If it's not, stretch as much as you need to. And when you're ready to, come in onto your hands. If your wrists are sore, you can stay on your abs, <laughs> on your elbows. Make sure the shoulders are over those wrists when you come up. And squeeze, one, pull the abs in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pull those abs in, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, squeeze and hold, eight, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 19, 20, 21. Sink it down. From here, we can just stretch in a nice inner thigh. So bring the knees right, the heels right in, and then fold forward. So that should be stretching inner thigh, and then maybe stretching the arms as well. Taking the hands in front of you and then round into that back, tucking the chin in. If you felt your wrists, you can stretch your wrists. Otherwise, coming to that nice where we take it. In your child's pose, interlace the hands. Lift them off the back. Change to the unnatural latch. And when you're ready, we're going to move on to a standing position. Working into those inner thighs, you're taking the ball between the legs and you want to parallel the feet and squeeze, that you squeeze your knees together so that you're working into the inner thigh. We make sure that you've got a nice straight back, pull in the abs in, squeeze the ball for one, two, three, slap bend into the knees, four, exhale, five, Six, so I feel my back and inner thigh. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, squeeze and hold it, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, release the ball, fold forward, bend the knees, and push those knees out just for a great stretch into your inner thigh. Moving on to the next one, we're going to take the ball and then from here we're going to squat down. So the ball is off the mat, the feet are to 
two shoulder widths apart, toes turned out. And I want you to sink down, and when you sink down, you're opening those knees wide. So pulling the abs in, feet are two shoulder widths apart, shoulders relax, holding the ball up, squeeze down, and up. Squeeze down, two, three. I really want you to feel four, five. So feel the inner thighs working to open the knees. Six, seven. Don't lock the knees at the top, but squeeze the back. Eight. If you can't do that, just keep a bend into the knees. Don't worry about it. Ten. Eleven. Exhale down. Open up. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Nice controlled move. Slowly down, slowly up. 16, 17, 18, 19. Don't bend the elbows too much, shoulders relax. 20, 21. Squeeze it down, hold it. Pull the abs and push the knees up. 4, 5, 7. 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Heels lift. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sit up nice and tall. 6, 7. Shoulders relax. 10, 11, 12. Push the knees up. Exhale. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21. Release it down, fold forward, push the butt out, straighten it up. So you keep your arms there, bend and stretch. Two, and release. Next one is to take the ball and we're going to go side to side. So for the first one, I want your feet parallel. Open them a little bit wider than two shoulder widths, maybe it's about three. And then we're going to turn, squeeze into that inner thigh. So you're working maybe into the outer butt. I want the focus to be on the inner thigh. So you take the ball into there, and then the other side. One. Two. Twenty-one. 
work nice and tall. Pull the back, pull the abs in. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Change size. Stretch it up for one, three, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Coming up, come to the mat, into your butterfly first. Bring the soles of the feet together. And then heels as close to your perineum as you can. Push the knees out. And then take it into a diamond. To stretch into the outer back. Tucking the chin in. When you're ready, next one. Coming back up. Taking the ball. Similar, the feet are still parallel, and we take it side to side. So let's go. Shoulders relax, pull the tummy in, squeeze. One, two. So you are going to twist the upper body a little. Three, four, five. Six, if you can keep it low, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hold it. Sink that knee down, work into that inner thigh. Straight back, pull the abs in. 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. 19, 20, 21, change. 2, 3, 5, 6. Sink that hip down. 14, 15, 16. Don't let this knee collapse inward. 21. Release it down. Elbows for me on the ball is delicious. Roll the ball out and then push the butt out. Bend the knees and stretch. Push the butt out. And coming up. Taking it. Next one we're going to do is toes are turned out and you're actually going to twist to that side. So yes, it's a little bit into, it's a little bit like a lunge, but when you focus on the inner thigh. So from a bent position, you can parallel the feet. Actually nicer to do on the floor, then you can turn easier, turn the toes out, and then change sides. See what's working for you. Bend the knees, tummies pulled in, shoulders relaxed, and squeeze out and twist. For one, twist that foot, two, twist that leg, so you pivot on the heel, three, four, five, six, That foot's a 90 degree angle, 7, the ball can be wherever, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12. So it's this exercise a little more than us. 13. 
feet are hip width apart to start. Hands are behind the head, open into the front of the chest. The elbows are lightly holding. Pull the abs in. Then sure your feet are on the ball, on the mat and the ball, so you don't slip. So first one we're going to do, lift the back, squeeze, bring inner thighs together and out. One, pull those abs in. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze the back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Squeeze. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Exhale, squeeze it in. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Squeeze it in. Lift the butt. Hold and lift the head and shoulders for one. Two. Three. Squeeze that butt. Four. Of course, it's not a great lift. Five, put a bit of back on there. Six, but feel those abs working. Seven, squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the butt. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze those inner thighs. Thirteen, fourteen. Squeeze the butt. Put the abs in. Fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Roll back a bit. Keep the inner thighs squeezing and twist. Side to side. Squeeze. One. Come up. Twist. Pull the abs in. Two. Squeeze those inner thighs. Three. Maybe it's a bit harder to squeeze the back. Four. Sixteen, 
bring it closer to stretch the inner thigh. Then staying in your butterfly, you've taken the opposite hand or the same hand onto the knee, push back the other hand is behind you as you push that knee down to stretch into the inner thigh, maybe the outer thigh, change sides, inhale, stretch it up. Release it and then from here we're just going to stretch if you're sitting all day at the desk or you can stretch on the ball but I like this one for the hip flexors. So on the ball stretch is more your abs and your um, back. So take your hands behind you, push forward, open wide, toes pointed onto fingertips, roll the inner thighs outward as you caterpillar the fingers forward. Coming up, flex the feet, caterpillar the fingers forward, roll those in the thighs out, make sure the knees are facing the ceiling, keep the toes nice and flexed. Release it, and the last thing, which is now going to stretch into the back, the whole back and the whole front, is that you roll out, feet are wider, then hip hip and taking the arms behind you and then open into the front of the chest. So taking the arms in line. For me the best is like a 45 degree angle to stretch into my low, my pec, my legs. Coming up and just stretching into the back. If you need to count what we've just done, that is the class for this week. Thank you for joining me. See you next session. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the classes as they're uploaded.